Hi, welcome to another episode of This Is Anything Goes. Today is going to be a slightly different kind of video. Alright, so most of you all may not know, but I've been taking my videos using my uh, Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus for the last two years. Alright, I started off with a DSLR, but it doesn't support 4K, so I've been using that phone. And now, after about two years, the phone is having a, an issue. Alright, as you can see, there's a green line here and apparently it is a common issue with the S20 series. Um, so I'm going to go into Samsung now and see what they can do about it. So there is nothing wrong with the phone. It functions well, it's just that there's a green line at the screen and there's no physical damage. Alright. There's no physical damage from day one. I've been using this phone with a case and a tempered glass. Alright, and there's literally no physical damage. The screen is in perfect condition. Alright, so let's see what Samsung has to say about it. Alright. I wonder if it's a car park or a boat park. Alright, just to keep you guys updated, today is day one. Uh, the phone is still with the Samsung Service Center. Um, they have already checked and they have submitted their report to Samsung Malaysia uh, as to whether or not to replace the screen. So what I found out from them is that um, they have this one-time program whereby they will replace the screen of uh, S20 Plus that is affected by the green line issue. Okay, uh, But it has to meet a, a very strict criteria your, your phone must not have any crack on your screen, it must not have any scratches on your screen, it must not um, been submerged in water or submitted to water damage, it must not have its internals ever replaced, it must never be opened before, alright, so it's pretty straight. My phone has a small little scratch at the side, that also they scrutinize. It's not on the screen, it was on the side of the phone which I will show you once I get back my phone uh, but I'm not too sure uh, they have opened the phone apparently there's no water damage so they are they have submitted the report to Samsung Malaysia and now um, I'm just waiting to see whether they will replace the screen or not so um, right let's I'm just hoping for the best because I don't feel like buying a phone this year all right my s20 plus is still working perfectly fine the performance is good uh, okay, so I'll keep you guys updated once I get an update from them, probably tomorrow. Alright? Alright, this is the next day and this is day number two and I am happy to say that I've gotten the phone back already. Alright, they have replaced the screen. There's no more green lines, which is good. Alright, so... Let's talk a bit about, uh, about this entire episode, alright? So what happened was that the green line suddenly appeared without any physical damage, without any uh, drop or, or going into the water. So what I've actually checked through is that uh, this is actually a very common issue. India and Vietnam is replacing it uh, openly, but in Malaysia, it does not seem like there is an announcement from Samsung Malaysia, but they are actually doing it. All right, they call it the one-time exchange program, all right, whereby uh, uh, they will change any S20, whether it's the S20, S20 Plus, or S20 Ultra, which has a sudden green screen appearing on their, uh, on their phones, all right. So, but they, they, are very, they are very strict and they scrutinize every single detail on your phone, all right. The first thing they scrutinize is the condition of the phone, it must not have any cracks or anything on the screen at all, else they'll reject it. And then, there must not be any scratches on it as well. And, there must not be any dents on the side or even at the back. If your back glass is broken, they will not replace your screen. Alright? And, let's just say, they scrutinize right to the point where even a small little dent that I don't think the fo the phone will be able to capture. Even this little dent over here, 
is being scrutinized. Once more than here. Okay, but I did mention to them that there was there for a very long time. So it is irrelevant to the damage to the screen. Okay? Now, the good thing about this is that if you are impacted by this and if they are changing the screen for free, they change the battery as well. I have my battery and my screen changed. <laughs> good job, Samsung. I like you guys. I really like you guys. Okay. The whole ordeal should take between uh, three to sorry one to four days. All right, according to the service center person, um, what they will do is after they have scrutinized the exterior, the physical side of it, they will send it in to the technician. And the technician will open it to see if there's any water damage or if any of your parts have been replaced before. All right, if your phone has been opened before. That's it, no exchange. If your um, phone has been replaced with uh, aftermarket parts, outside parts, sorry, you're not eligible for the exchange. All right, but fortunately for me, this phone has not given me any problems, so there was no need for any repairs all this while. All right, I've had this one for almost two years. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. So. If you guys, especially those in Malaysia, if you are impacted by the green, green screen or some of them are actually impacted by the pink uh, line, sorry, green line and pink line, all right, make sure you check with Samsung, see if it's covered. If it's covered, good for you. Oh, it comes with the, the screen comes with the screen protector as well. All right, so I'm leaving that on until it gets messed up, then I'll change it to one of my tempered glass, which I've been using on this one, well. okay? So, all right, okay, last thing I want to mention is that when they, when they have replaced the screen and returned the phone to me, one thing big that I noticed, all right, is the screen itself looks perfectly good, even better than when I sent it uh, in for repair, all right. It seems that after two years of using the phone, the LCD or the OLED uh, screen has actually degraded quite a lot so when I got it got the screen changed to a new one woo, like a brand new phone so this makes me think every time we change to a new phone all right usually it's two to between two to four five years right so this has been used for two years so are the phone screens really getting better or is it just our eyes playing a trick on us because the old phone the screens are getting degraded i wonder i'm just wondering all right wondering right out loud okay so yeah this is not a diy video i hope you learned something from this samsung i like you guys you have managed to retain at least this one user here all right i've been using your phones for quite a while i've had the note i have two uh, note tools i have an s7 plus so s7 h i have s8 plus s20 plus and uh, Note 20 Ultra, all right. I was thinking of getting the S22 Ultra as well, but since my phone is working fine, maybe next year, all right. So, till then, I'll see you again.